millions of pounds worth of coal cars in the holding area. Everyone's starting to go down the runway. It's going to be a crazy one. So we're here at uh, Sywell Aerodrome for Supercar Fest, the runway. Don't go anywhere, guys. This is going to be a good one. The best bit about this car show is the cars on the move. Look at this STO just rolling right past. You've got millions and millions of pounds worth of supercars, hypercars here, but I had to come and check this out. Kids Customs, if you've got a little kid, check out this little STO spinning around. How cool is that? And then a Lamborghini Aventador, Rolls Royce Cullen, and these things are so cool. So we had to come check out the guys on the Slammed UK stand. Really uh, famous Audi R8, we've seen that loads of times. That looks really cool. And then check out the all white, wide arch 911 over here. This thing is crazy. Look how clean that thing is. Look at the size of the rear arches. And that massive rear wing. Check out that fitment. And then while we're here, we had to look. Matte black, McLaren, Liberty Walk kit. But the best thing about this, as a kid, a Recaro kid seat. That's parenting done right, isn't it? Check out, that's a cool stand. There's cars rolling past you all the time, all making their way down to the runway. long tents along here and I think that is where all the big boys are so let's go and have a look right and just like that the first stand we come to is Koenigsegg London Mr JWW in the background there this lovely white Regera with the red interior it looks absolutely stunning and then we've got this full exposed carbon CCX what up there I think they've got a couple more cars next door. Let's go and check them out. And then on the other side, they have this lovely blue Regera with the orange accents. Just check out them carbon fiber wheels. And then the chili red Jesco over there that Mr. JWW pretty much broke the internet with. And then just look at this tent of supercars and hypercars. Let's have a walk down here. I wouldn't even want to guess how much money is here collectively let's go check them out so it was absolutely packed here and i tried to look at these cars earlier but it's thinned out a little bit so let's do a quick walk along of these cars so you've got a really nice sf90 a lovely svj looks absolutely lovely in yellow another sf90 and then if we can squeeze along we got an We've got an Agera RST. We've seen this car a few times, but in blue with the carbon fiber, that looks absolutely awesome. So then if we scoot along a little bit more, got Ferrari SP2, and then check this out. This has only got 500 miles on the clock, and he absolutely nailed it down the hot runway today. The uh, Bugatti Chiron 300 Super Sport. Then we've got a Lamborghini Aventador 63 edition, and then a Bugatti Veyron Vitesse over there. And then if we scoot along, we've got the Devo. We've seen that quite a few times, but always crazy to see. And then the Veyron, really well known. This has been all over the internet, the chrome and black Veyron. And then if we just come across, this is the first time I think I've seen the yellow one. This looks really cool on the Valkyrie. I love the yellow with the red and the white. That looks awesome, absolutely awesome. And this is the first time I've ever seen the Valkyrie Spider. I mean, imagine having that car and then taking the roof off so you could hear that screaming engine absolutely awesome so this is the gumball stand check out the spec on this 812 gts that looks lovely so gumball this year is going saigon to singapore i think it is so it's lovely color this really nice purple on this gt12 aston martin yeah as you see saigon to singapore this year and then if we can squeeze through really nice color on this amg black series that looks lovely. And then a really, really nice green Aventador SVJ. If you had to pick one, what would you do gumball in? Or if you could pick any car, put in the comments, what would you do gumball in? 
Right, let's check out this side. Uh, start off with this lovely F40. Check out the number plate, my F40. And then a bucket list car for me to see, the Sesto Elemento. Absolute unicorn. I think there's only about nine or 10 of them made. Put in the comments below if you know. And then an F50 there. But let's go and have a look at the rest of the lineup. Right, like I said, we've got this lovely F50. Another F40. Having a rear wheel change, not sure what's happened there. Really nice black with the silver stripes GT40 and then a heritage edition F40 there. What is this? A 250 SWB? I think it looks really nice in yellow. Another car we've seen quite a few times. We just saw this at Salon Privo the other week, actually, it's 918 in the Martini livery. That looks super cool, I like that. Another car that we saw at Salon Privé, this Koenigsegg CCR. I love the colour on this, the orange suits it so well. Right, so this must be the third or fourth F40 we've seen just in this paddock. And then check out the spec on this 812 Competizione. That looks absolutely gorgeous. And then just chilling on the end, a Ferrari Enzo. What a lineup that is. Check that out. And then right at the end, you've got this Bugani Huayra. We saw this again at Salon Privé, Chelsea in London. Full exco exposed carbon fiber body with the yellow interior. Right, just trying to put some kind of context so you've got the line of cars all the way along there all the way along there that we've just seen and then you've got Koenigsegg London here with all these people it's really difficult to show you what's going on but just in this area I reckon there's probably about a hundred million I reckon what do you reckon in the lineup I've just showed you what do you reckon that comes to right so it was quite busy here but Koenigsegg London just fired up their four cars because I think they're going to take them down the wrong way and now look literally hundreds and hundreds of people around them cars now waiting for it to pull out you cannot move down there now so i'm going to hang back see if i can catch them pulling out We got managed to get near the front. All the hypercars are going down the wrong way, so we uh, I don't run, but I run for hypercars. <laughs> We managed to see all the hypercars go two runs, really, really cool. A car show where all the cars are static, that's really cool. But this is such a cool event because all the cars are moving. There's cars moving around you all the time. If anyone's been to Goodwood Festival of Speed, it's like that, but on a smaller scale. Really cool event, this. Let me squeeze in here. I've got to show you the colour on this 296 GTP. Not sure on the actual paint name for that, but that looks lovely sitting in the sun. Right, 
I'm fed and watered. I listen to some music for a little while. I'm gonna leave the wife and the daughter there and go for a wander myself, see what we can see. So let's check out what the Porsche stand's got. Really nice uh, tie can. I actually really like the color on that. Another Cayman, looks really nice. And then a uh, lovely yellow. I think this is called a Racing Yellow GT3 RS. And then these are a couple of their approved cars. I love the color on that GT4. I think that's a PTS color. And then this lovely white GT3 RS as well. That looks really nice. Right, some interesting cars on this stand. Check out the Model Y performance on bags, slammed to the ground. I mean, I've got a Model 3. I'm not sure if the wife would let me do that for the family car, but, and then check out these. This chrome wrapped R8. Looks pretty cool. And then we've got this really nice Hurricane. Oh, that's loud. Check out the wrap on this Hurricane, and I have to say, I'm really becoming a fan of forged carbon fiber. Look at that. Every bit of forged carbon fibre on this car. Look how low that is. But come and check them out round the back. Both of them twin turbocharged. No bumper. Thousand brake horsepower. Same with that one. These things are so cool. Not messing around. Just look at this place. Everywhere I turn, there's just a sea of parked supercars. I don't know where to start. Lovely Perfomonte over there. So I had to make a beeline for this Atura. I think this is McLaren Papaya Orange, but I don't know if the camera can do it justice. It is really, really metallic-y. I don't know if you can see. That is really, really metallic-y. It looks really, really nice in the sun. Right to the far end of the show. Got a really nice 488 Spider, 600 LT, 650S, a F8 Tributo. That looks lovely, I like that, that looks really nice. Lovely F12. The uh, Atura, that looks really nice, I just showed you. Look, absolute crazy lineup. Look, it just goes on and on and on. Right, so as you know on the channel, I've got a Tesla Model 3 and I was looking at getting an X, but they only do them in left-hand drive now and I really wanted one for these doors. Look, these have got to be the coolest doors on any car, but they only do the X now in left-hand drive. Why is Elon Musk only doing it in left-hand drive? They're so cool, aren't they, Meg? They're the coolest doors ever, aren't they? But they only do them in left-hand drive. I wouldn't want a left-hand drive car. Elon Musk, make the X back in right-hand drive. So while we was over this side, I had to come and check out the Aston Martin stand. Look at this Vantage, I think if my knowledge serves me right, that's the CEO spec. I'll be honest, I don't know the difference, what you get, but I think that I think it might be the uh, extra carbon fiber and stuff, but yeah, the spec on that's lovely. Check out the spec though on this Vantage, this dark metallic purple, that looks lovely. And check out the carbon fiber kind of bucket seats with the cream leather interior. In the sun, the cream leather, the carbon fiber, and that dark purple, that looks really nice. And then the iconic Aston Martin Green DB12. That looks really nice. I have to say, this DB12, if you spec that on a computer, you wouldn't think that would look all that great, but the metallic, almost brown, with the brown interior, actually suits it really well. That looks really nice. That looks really nice in the sun, I like that. And then a couple of really nice DBXs. Gotta be the ultimate family car, isn't it? The ultimate family run car that. Yeah, really nice lineup on Aston Martin stand here. Look at this KTM Crossbow. This is the GT4 full on race car. I think this is the only one in the UK. That uh, is not messing around, is it? Look at that thing. So lunch is over, everyone's lining up to go back down the runway again. Look at all these cars, everybody's starting to line up. Everyone's coming out. Look at that lineup of supercars. So this is the CT Carbon Stand. I think we actually saw this M2 at Bista Heritage the uh, other week. Check out all the carbon fibre. I presume that's all done by CT Carbon. Yeah, CT Carbon, they must do loads. Never knew they did so much, but that looks really cool. Lovely hurricane over there, white. The white with the carbon fibre looks so cool. And then, but check out this 720S. That has so much carbon fibre. 
added to it. The bonnet, all the flares, the front splitter. And check out this rear wing in carbon fiber. That looks so cool. Look at that. And this massive rear diffuser. Look at that. And then I really like this STO. The matte kind of gray with the bronze wheels. All the carbon fiber again. Really cool cars on their stand. Right, so just on the entrance to the hospitality and VIP entrance, they've got this McLaren Senna GTR. Just look at the spec and the color on that. That is awesome. That looks so cool. Just look at the supercar mayhem. All the cars leaving the runway going this way, and then the next lot of cars going back towards the runway. Look how many cars there are here, it's absolutely crazy. So this is Premier GT stand. Look at this 720S that got for sale in Papaya Spark. Could be yours for a fraction under 170 grand. That's lovely. And if your bank balance can uh, stretch that far, maybe you could go to 3.2 million for this 2019 Bugatti Chiron. Looks really nice in the metallic black with the orange interior. That is lovely. Or maybe a yellow F12 TDF is more your thing. This could be yours for 840 grand. Or how about a 2016 911 GT3 RS? Could be yours for 170 grand. You could maybe class as a family wagon. 2017 GTC4 Lusso, uh, 160 grand. <laughs> So a couple of cars we missed earlier on this uh, leg, it was so busy down here. Really nice black 918. And this is McLaren London's Senna, full exposed carbon Senna, tribute to Ayrton Senna himself. We saw this at Salon Privé in London, uh, Chelsea, a couple of weeks ago. And then a really nice green Storato. I like the green with the bronze wheels and the roof box looks pretty cool. And then a really, really nice blue 765 LT on the end. But uh, yeah. This has been a crazy event, crazy, crazy lineup. Just everywhere you turn, there's another line of crazy cars coming towards you. Look at that. I love these things, they sound so cool. Lovely car, man. I love them things, the GTA sounds so cool. Absolutely covered in like Swarovski crystals. Just look at that thing. Look at that in the sun. I mean, <laughs> I don't know if the camera's doing it justice. Absolutely covered. Blackcrystalamg.com. That thing's crazy. Just look at that. Hello, Mr. Stig. Having a good day? <laughs> I really like Liberty Walk kits. I have to say I prefer the older ones to the new ones and I, this has to be one of my favourites. The Liberty Walk Lamborghini Aventador. That looks so cool. Look at that. In black. Looks so menacing. Another competitor for the next family wagon. What do you think? So it looks like it's home time already for the F50. I really like the spec on this Hurricane Technica, the red with the kind of graphite wheels. That looks lovely, that really suits the car, that looks lovely. And then this Storato has to be one of the most subtle specs I've seen. The graphite wheels with the black, no roof box or anything. 
you'd, uh, you'd almost pass that and not realise it was a Storato. And then we saw this go down the track. Look at this hurricane. I think this was with the Hyperworks uh, body kit on it. I think I actually prefer that to the Liberty Walk kit. I prefer the squareness of that. I think that looks so cool. Put in the comments, what would you take? Would you take a Liberty Walk kit or this Hyperworks? be the last run of cars down the runway a lot of cars seem to be heading out a lot of the big hypercar supercars have uh, are all being trailered up and going out so it has been a crazy day you know when you come to a car show and there's absolutely so much to see it's overwhelming so i hope i've kind of captured a bit of everything for you i hope you get a taste of the event uh, but if you think this looks like your cup of tea definitely definitely come next year it is crazy it is one of the best events perfect thank you